So this patient has cervical disc disease as well as viscerothropathy arthropathy manifesting as cervical genic headache and occipital neuralgia. What we're going to do is an occipital nerve block of the greater branch and possibly some medial branch nerve blocks under ultrasound guidance. Okay. First, I'm going to do the occipital nerve block. Looking for this, the bifid spinous process, which is C2. I'm going to scan laterally. Spinous capitis is the superior muscle. Obliquus capitis inferior is underneath. And the nerve is located between them. No pinch. You okay? Okay, it's the first part. The other side's fine, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, we're going to look at the medial branch nerves. This is an axial cut of the cervical spine in which I'm looking at the articular processes of the facet joints. Post posterior, you have the spinous process, which is just a horizontal flat uh, hyperechoic line with hypodense tissue behind it. And moving anterior, you see the exiting nerve root and the foramen. Looking for the medial branch nerve, which may appear as a hyperdense small structure on the articular process. Karen, is this where your pain is coming from or lower down? Oh, the, the neck pain, the head pain is there. It's right there, okay. Okay, a little pinch. Feel that? Yeah. The medication is spreading over the medial branch nerve on top of the articular process. I'm going to go to another level. Mainly up here, should I go a little higher? It goes that way up into my head. Okay. That Fair enough. Take an oblique approach. You can see the cervical medial branch nerves sometimes under oblique view. Here it is. Can you decrease the depth again? So, good. So the medial branch nerve is here on top of the hyperechoic bone with an oblique approach. And I'm going to go center it. And with an out of plane approach, I'm going to approach the nerve. Little pinch, Karen. You okay? Mm -hmm. That's right. Inject next to the nerve. Feel that in the spot of your pain? Yeah. Okay. You could look up. Is all your pain covered, or did I miss a spot on the left side? No, it's good. So here I did a occipital nerve block, and I did medial branch nerves to alleviate the occipital neuralgia aspect of her pain, as well as some of the cervical, cervical facetogenic aspects of her pain. Because I used an ultrasound and not a fluoroscope, I didn't count the levels the same way. In this case, I actually counted downwards from the C2 transverse process, and it was an estimate. I probably anesthetized the C3 and the C4 medial branch nerve, and the patient is feeling better. So hopefully this will give her long-term relief. Thank you. Yep.